Hey, what's going on guys? I'm really excited because I'm covering one of those super useful, super simple and easy to learn commands that will make your life as a sysadmin much nicer and more convenient. T is a command that solves a curious little problem that crops up more than you might think. Say you're running a command line program of some kind, whether it's a Python script or a Ruby script or some long running command that produces some output and you want to stay and watch that output to make sure that things are going as you planned. However, the output is something you actually do want to capture, say in a log that you can process that log somehow later, for example, grepping through it or sorting or doing some awk stuff to tally things and produce some kind of report. So the problem is you want to see what's happening in real time, but you also want to keep it for later. You've only got one set of input essentially, right, coming through on the command line and usually you have to decide do I write it to a log file do I write it to another program that's gonna process this well with T you can do both T will split your output so that you can do multiple things with the same output I could show you a really simple example of this that also demonstrates the problem pretty well let's say I've got a file named my log dot log we're gonna go ahead and just create that so we don't get any errors and then what we'll do is echo something into it. So I think what we will do just very quickly is echo the date into that file and we'll just append it. So this is an example of something where I could have run date and I would have gotten this output or I could have echoed it into a file and now I have to actually look at what's in that file. The hacker's solution to this, if you don't know T, you would open a new shell and then you would tail F your log, right? So you've got your log here. Now we can switch back over and as we echo a date in, we will see that in real time. So we're running the command on the one hand, we're seeing the output as if this were standard out, but we're also actually logging this to a file so that once I close this, it's not just please copy and paste this from your shell session. It is you know, you could just read it like any other log file. It actually stays written to the file. I have that extra line break up here just because I hit enter a few times. It's like this instinct I have when I um, tail F a file, when I follow a file with tail, just so that I can know where I started following it. It's pretty useful for like very fast moving log files. Anyway, quick tip. So this is the problem and this is the traditional solution using the tools that you already know in Linux. You're using tail, you're using two shells to do it, and you're redirecting output. With T, the solution is much more elegant. In fact, you can do it from a single file. I'm going to wipe this file, actually. I'm going to overwrite. So now you can see that my log is empty again, and we're starting essentially from scratch. With T, what I would do is do the command that I'm going to run, in this case, date, and I'm going to redirect the output from that into T, and then whatever file I want to log it to, in this case, my log dot log. What this will do is tell T, hey, whatever input you're getting, definitely make sure it gets written into my log dot log, but also please show me in real time in the standard out for my shell here what's happening. So this is great because for a long running program, I'm seeing this just as if I were getting output from the program directly. In this case, it's just date. But the wonderful thing is that it also ends up in my log file. Now, you're asking yourself, why the heck is there only one entry in that log file? And that is because, and you will run into this as soon as you use T, by default, if you're logging into something, the log will be overwritten. Now, for a long running program, that's fine. But if you're running a series of commands and like teeing them into a log file, you'll want to use the dash A flag for T which stands for append. So now, instead of totally wiping that file each time a command tees into it, we're going to append to what's already there. So now, I have exactly the same command as before, except with the dash A flag for append. And now when I cat my log, you can see that it's all there. Every one of those entries has simply been appended. It has not overwritten each time. Now, this is a difference that you'll only notice if you're running several programs. If you have one single long-running command or script, um, then you won't notice this as a problem without append. But again, 
be careful when not running this with a pen because whatever's in that file is going to get totally wiped as soon as T starts writing to it. So that's T in a nutshell. You can start using it right away. So the takeaway here is just any command, long running script, what have you, pipe the output, what that thing would be writing to standard out, to T instead, and then you've got like a little T in your pipe system, which T's it to two directions instead of just a single direction. I recommend you take another quick look at the man page. It's a really simple command, and play around a little bit. If you guys have any good uh, use cases for this, other than the ones I've just quickly mentioned in this video, definitely feel free to leave them in the comments. And as always, if this has been useful, remember to like and subscribe to let me know that you want to see more of these kinds of videos. See you in the next one, guys.